We're here at my family practice in Whitecourt and it's a general family practice, we see everybody. We believe that screening is probably one of the most important things that we can be doing for Canadians. Cardiovascular screening is important. I mean, there's two main things that people die from in you know, a country like ours, is cancer and a heart disease. So if we can prevent heart disease, I mean, we decrease a lot of mortality. I myself wasn't sure how to quantify the patient's cardiovascular risk and my nurse brought it to my attention that there was actually a cardiovascular risk calculator built into my electronic medical record. And once she started using it then she showed me how to use it and that's pretty much when I started using it for just about every patient who we should be screening. The calculator uses the patient's information, it basically uses their age, their sex, their cholesterol values, their latest blood pressure, whether they're a smoker, whether they're a diabetic and a few other factors and it uses a variation of the Framingham risk score to calculate the patient's risk for a cardiovascular event in the next 10 years. Having the cardiovascular risk assessment tool now available on the EMRs has significantly decreased our calculation time. Now we're able to spend the majority of the consult speaking to the patient in regards to increased activity, maybe lowering their BMI, tobacco cessation, addressing all the areas where they may benefit from improving their score, and we're able to divulge into the, their lifestyles individually and how we can help promote some healthy choices and implement a few changes that would make a big impact. I think patients really like it because we can quantify their risk for the individual patients. So they see it as quite individualized and quite personal. And also it makes an impact for them because they can actually see the numbers in front of them in a very visual way because it also generates a small graphic that shows them a, you know, a red bar graph or a yellow bar graph or a green bar that kind of tells them how severe their risk is. And another thing about it is that we can alter their risk on the fly so we can show them what a difference it would make if they quit smoking and how their risk would drop or if they improve their cholesterol how their risk would improve so we can adjust the numbers for them. They're able to see how what they're doing on a daily basis is affecting their heart in the long term. As far as we've been seeing in our practice it has been causing change. They're really taking their overall health into consideration and making it a priority. Everybody wins it's a no-brainer you got to do this in your practice.